What's up everybody? It's 5 o'clock in the morning and I can't sleep, so I thought why not do a video? Um, I recently bought a portable gaming monitor from Zeus. Um, I actually unboxed it and uh, showcased it on my gaming channel, Gaming with Block. I'll leave the link in the description below so you guys can all check out the video. I would really, really much appreciate it. This Asus monitor, portable monitor, is uh, actually quite expensive. And not only is it expensive, but it also you're also able to buy a secondary accessory with it if you wanted to, which uh, would have been a uh, mini tripod that you connect to the portable monitor so that it could stand up. Unfortunately, Asus decided that it wanted to charge a $100 premium for it. I ain't stupid. I'm not spending $100 for no mini tripod. So thus began my search um, over the web to try to find one that was cheap, but was still off, was still also um, do the job that I needed to do. So um, I went through a lot of websites and forums, and I came across. Uh, actually, I got pointed into the direction of this um, mini tripod, and this is the Ulanzi. I'm not really sure how you say it, but you. Ulanzi, Ulanzi uh, tripod um, that I'm going to use or try to use. Um, the forum said that this one actually works, so hopefully it does. I never checked it out, so I don't know. Uh, this will be my first time actually trying to see if it does. Um, but before we begin, I would love for you guys to make sure that you like and subscribe, and don't forget to ring that bell to be notified of upcoming videos. Let's get started. Okay, so just like with all the unboxings, we gotta first open it up. So let me take this plastic off and let's see what we got inside. All right, so the plastic is now off. You have the front, uh, you have the sides, which you already kind of saw. Here's the back of it. And here's the other side. I'm going to now open it. Let me check what we got. Uh, okay, well, that all came out, so I guess I can just talk about it real quick. So it comes with this, it comes with a little pamphlet, I guess. Um, we can put that to the side real quick. This looks to be like a little small sticker that you can add somewhere. It says a small brand focusing on photography uh, just in case you didn't know this could be utilized for like a camera as well um, but I'm utilizing for the monitor uh, so put that to the side and we also have another sticker that says UU rig uh, camera vlog accessories so you know if you wanted to add some stickers onto some stuff that's pretty dope but let's move all this out of the way and get to the star of the show which is this actual tripod uh, so this tripod so far is pretty lightweight. Um, let me bring it a little closer so you can see it. It's pretty lightweight. Uh, I believe these are supposed to fold out. I'm not really sure how. Okay, there we go. Got one, got two, got three. Um, this, I believe, is supposed to extend. If it doesn't, I'm going to be really sad because that's the reason why I actually bought it. Uh, but let me just unscrew this and let's see if it actually does that hope so because if it doesn't then we are we have an issue so please do but it doesn't look like it's actually doing that so I may need to actually get a new one uh, that's longer I hope I don't maybe if I look in the instruction manual real quick it'll show me something different so let me do that real quick and I'll be right back Okay, so I'm back. Uh, good thing is I actually figured out how to actually uh, open it up. All you have to do is just pull this um, to see see how it extends. Unfortunately, I don't think this would be uh, long enough for the action for it to actually hold the monitor up. I already have a um, tripod stand from Joby. Uh, that I bought a long time ago, and I believe this is pretty much almost the same size. It's just that the, the Joby doesn't extend as much, but um, I'm just going to check it out and see if it works anyway. If not, I may have to get a longer version of this one because I actually like the fit and the feel of this better than I do this. Although this is also such a 
um, it, this is also a really good product as well. All right, so for a quick comparison, you can already see that they're kind of similar inside with the Yulanzi, Yulanzi, or however you will say it, being probably about uh, 0.3 centimeters taller. Um, I think I, I may actually have to get the long, a longer one, but let's just check it out real quick. All right, so I have my portal to monitor set up. Now I just have to see if this fits. So I'm gonna go over right ahead and try to uh, plug this in. Uh, I think I may have to move the camera back just a little bit. So there we go. So far, so good. Keep spinning. This is tight enough. I think that's good. I don't want to break it or anything, so I'm going to tighten this. I think that's good. And uh, I'm going to now attempt to stand it up. Hopefully everything works out. Open it up real quick. Okay. Take it off this uh, protective cover. Put that to the side. All right, stand it up and uh, turn it around so you guys can see it. Alright, so as you can see, everything actually worked out. Um, it's it's actually pretty stable. Uh, I don't, I'm not afraid of uh, anybody knocking it over, I don't think. Um, let me see if it can go any higher. No. Uh, but you could tilt it a little bit. Just have to loosen this. Could be tilted a tad bit so you can see it a little better. Um, I think I kind of like it. Uh, here's the back of it. You guys can see it for yourself. All you have to do is just screw it in like you saw me do earlier, and everything takes care of itself pretty much. Um, this monitor also has RGB. This lights up, uh, I believe, in white. Um, I'm just going to uh, turn it back around and turn it on real quick. Um, uh, once you charge this modern portable monitor, you don't need to um, have it plugged. It doesn't need to be plugged in for you to be able to use it. So that's another good thing about this about this monitor. If it'll just cut off for you real quick, I don't know why it's not. All right, so I think the reason why it's not working is because it actually has to have a power signal to it. So that's why it's not turning on. Um, I'm gonna definitely check that out. Okay, so just like I said, I wanted to check to see uh, what was going on with it. I don't know why it wasn't power at all, but it looks like, like I said earlier, that it has to um, at least be uh, able to recognize the input. So I connected it to my PlayStation Pro to see if it uh, would actually work and it looks like it does. So um, yeah, everything works out. I have the controller right here as you can see. And as you can see, I'm pressing the buttons down, up, down, up. And everything is working just right. So yeah, there's no, um, it, the um, monitor is not plugged into anything. It's definitely pretty much a portable monitor. But I'm going to end it right there today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Appreciate the video. Um, the tripod does work. I would still probably recommend a stronger, taller tripod. Uh, just to give you a little bit of better height and stability. Um, the Javi... Uh, this... Um, tripod would still probably be a little bit better um, I believe uh, than the one that's there uh, because this one comes in different sizes and variations plus these legs are very very sturdy so I may end up getting um, a longer one of these but uh, for a quick little setup this tripod from Ulanzi, Ulanzi or however you said it is pretty pretty good that's gonna do it Make sure that you guys like and subscribe and hit that bell to be notified of upcoming videos. This is La. Till next time.